Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron, where Germany is having some real issues at this point. The British Empire has taken back most of the British Isles. Not all of it yet. It'll take some time to get that done, for sure. But there's also this French Commune invasion here. There's all of this over here. There's this over here. Like, Africa's getting attacked very heavily right now by the US. And we're also pushing in over here. Now, we don't know... Um, actually, what do we have here? We don't have air superiority up over here. That's fine. Um, this is irrelevant, but whatever. Cool. So, what are we building right now? Well, we're building anti-air up here to help out our air war. And we're also working on our logistics network. And we've been expanding pretty quickly here. I'm okay with our offensive grinding to a bit of a halt here. I feel like that's okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. So we're going to grind to a bit of a halt up here. Now we're definitely seeing some supply issues over here. Um, that's definitely a thing. We have this hub over here. Okay. We could use a rail line going up this way. I think that's pretty clear. The question is, how high of a priority is it? I mean, all of these rail lines are a pretty high priority, to be honest. And uh, they're not building the fastest. This anti-air will be done on 15 August. Okay. I think I'm going to put it down in this slot here. So that way, the majority of our factories are working on railways. Because this is our primary issue right now. We're on cautiously attack. That is correct. Good. I also want to check in on our tank count here. 624? That's doing a lot better. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. What do we have for potential, like, factory construction in Africa here? None? We could build one over here. I mean, it would be a good investment. The question is, do we have time to do that? The other question is, do we have time to not do that? <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, it's, it's, it's a hard choice. It's definitely a hard choice. We can see that the Germans are also struggling with their supplies over here. I'm going to give these guys an offensive line. And it's simply going to be... Something kind of like this. Or maybe backing this off slightly. Like this. They can go ahead and execute that, but I don't really want them to work too hard at it. But they're actually succeeding. Right off the gate. Or right out of the gate, rather. So, okay, we can work on an offensive over here if it's going to work. But this does mean that we're going to leave behind some of our logistics over here. Our logistics are going to get more and more grim as we go up into the jungle here. But then again, so are the German logistics. So, to some degree, it is what it is. And it's probably reasonably okay. We're taking logistic strikes out over here. Okay. That's reasonably fine. I want to get these... The anti-air finished up. 18 August is when this is go going to be done, apparently. So, in like, four days here. That's not too bad. But we have a bunch more anti-air to make. How are we doing in the air over here right now? Okay. It's not going the greatest, I'll be honest. How are we doing with our anti-air distribution? Or our anti-air production? We need 241 more. We're definitely improving that. There's no doubt about that one. So this is going well. Let's check in on our logistics here. We can see we're negative on our artillery and our infantry equipment and our trucks and our support equipment right now. So we definitely want an additional factory working on each of those. 
So we'll throw one in on trucks. We'll throw one in on artillery, support equipment, infantry equipment. And what was the other one? Artillery, infantry equipment, trucks, support equipment. I think it was just those four. Okay. So that'll be four factories. Why is this red? I'm not sure what this is indicating to us. Whatever. But as we get more factories, we'll toss them in here. And that should fix some of those, those issues, I hope. Hopefully. So we're pressing forward over here. We're going to try to unify our lines. That would be nice. But for the moment, this is reasonably okay. I want to get that civilian factory online. That will be done... That was going to be done in what? October? Yeah, 12 October. It'll be useful to have, but it's not going to be the end of the world if we uh, don't have it. I mean, we're going to get it. The question is, how high of a priority is it really? And I think this is okay. We're seeing a lot of American and Japanese troops coming in over here. So that's reasonably fine. At this point, I don't really care that much if it goes over to the French Commune. It's kind of whatever. We mostly just want Germany to not hold it, right? Let's take a quick look at what Germany's at. They have basically no manpower. 881 was what we saw there. Okay. We're taking the high end as our estimate. So that's good to know. They've expanded their armies. The question is at what cost? We've got a victory point up here now. That's nice. And then we can connect this rail line from here over to the victory point. Like that. Cool. So that'll be fine. We can also connect these rail lines together like so. But we really do need to get to work properly on making these rail lines, if this is what we're going to do. So, that's definitely a thing that we need to work on. No doubt about that. But I'd like to unify our lines back together. And we can definitely see that the Germans are falling back over here. I think we're going to go to balanced attack at this time. Yeah, that's these guys. But we have lots of American support over here. So we're going to go to balanced attack. Cool. I'd love to see us successfully push through here. I don't know that that's going to happen. No, it's not. Well, that's fine. We're doing okay over here. No real problem there. So, as long as we're pushing on one front, it's completely fine. We will have this factory done eventually. Our anti-air over here is going to be done in just two days, so that's absolutely great. And let's take a look at what's going on in the air over here. We only have two anti-air guns here. That's interesting. Probably because we don't control the whole state. Is what I'm guessing. Very interesting indeed. So they have numbers on us here, right? That's definitely something that they have. And that's okay. We're going to stop our missions here for the moment. And see if we can bait them into doing what they did previously. If we can, that'd be huge. They didn't take the bait last time. They're currently not taking that bait. We'll give it a little time and see if they do. 
We're going to be done with this civilian factory on 12 October, so under a month. And we're going to be finishing our last anti-air over here soon enough as well. Okay. So that's fine. We're going to be working heavily on our railways soon. That is very important for us. We want to get those done. Railways are pretty quick to build. Okay, this is only slightly awkward over here at this point. I'm going to delete this order. And we're going to set up a new offensive line because the Americans have taken quite a bit of locations here. We're going to set up a new offensive line that's simply something like that. And we'll go ahead and execute that. Cool. Supplies in this region are grim, but they're grim for everyone. They're equally grim across the board. So that's good to note. We do not need to be having these guys over here. This is irrelevant to us. We want this entire force assigned to this order. There we go. That'll help things. Fantastic. Over this way, things are going not tremendously well. Let's see what they've got for planes here now. They're down to 400. I keep hoping that they'll pull more planes out of there. Sadly, they're not currently doing that. That is very sad. Okay, so we can shorten our front line over here. We can back off to about there. I'd like to shorten it a little further. Actually, we can just straight up delete that and then assign all of these guys over here, which they are, so that's perfect. Cool. So we're continuing to press in here. How are the Germans doing in terms of their troop count? So they're now up to an, a max of 969. Now, a lot of this probably has to do with our intel. I don't know that they're actually expanding that quickly. I mean, there's no way they can be, right? They have no manpower. Unless they're making concessions in other categories. Theoretically possible, I suppose. I'm really trying to bait them into moving their fighters out of here. Out of curiosity. What happens if we went up to the upper Nile? Would they move out of here? They have 200 planes here right now. They did move some planes. But not these planes. Sad. Very sad indeed. Okay. That's fine. For the moment, this stalemate is reasonable. It's very awkward over here. What the U.S. is is actually doing here is very awkward indeed. But that's fine. For the time being, we will offensive line like that. There we go. And we want to make sure that everyone's assigned to this. Thank you very much. There we go. And the U.S. is being awkward. Why are you going this way, U.S.? Go this way. Connect up over here. Like, don't do this. This is very awkward. Whatever. We're going to delete this. And everybody gets assigned over here. Cool. I want to link up our fronts. That's very important right now. Bypassing Uganda and getting these fronts linked. So we're heading in here. I want these guys to attack here. That'll link up our fronts. Why is this 12 divisions now? There we go. Cool. So assuming this attack succeeds, 
this will link these fronts. And that'll be very useful for us. We'll be stretched a little less thin. I think we'll win that attack. I think so. Seems to be going reasonably fine. They still have 400 planes over here. Okay. So we're pushing that in. Hopefully we arrive up here. Before the Americans do. I want to cut them off over here. That would be very nice. Okay. So our fronts are now linked. Now... Our tanks are going to be arriving here very shortly. There we go. And we should win that. Cool. So at this point, I'm going to delete all of these orders. Every single order here gets deleted. We set up a new army group front line here. There we go. And we set an offensive line of this as we had it before and we also set an offensive line of like this is terrible there's impassable terrain up here so an offensive line up to this impassable terrain would be amazing something kind of like that I don't know who all is assigned to these. Everybody's assigned here, I think. But whatever. There we go. We'll get that going. We're going to have to redeploy a lot. But that's fine. So we'll get that all set up. If we can get to this impassable border up here, then that would be huge. Absolutely huge. Like, there's basically no way into the Sahara. It's completely impassable. Which, of course, makes states up over here awkward, but... <laughs> there we go. Oh, we pushed them back over here. That's actually really, really huge. If we can take Berbera right now... We're seeing if we can take Berbera. They're sending reinforcements in. So I don't necessarily think that we have this. No. We're going to stop that attack. We're at this naval base here, though, now, too. So we definitely managed to grab some territory over here. We managed to push in a little bit. That's very, very good. And we have some pretty major de redeployments happening. We are only working at this point on our railways. So that's very good. Oh, look at this. We just got this naval base. We got Mogadishu. That's a huge deal. We're pushing these guys back over here. I'm going to allow that to succeed. But now I want to push in here again, if we can. We can't for the moment. We did take a victory point here. Taking Djibouti would be a huge win for us. I'd be a little surprised if we can win this. Hang on. What's the air look like here? Because we took one of their air bases. Seventy percent? Oh, hello. That's eighty percent. We nuke here. We nuke here because this is an airbase. And we nuke here because it's an airbase. And we nuke 
here if we can. Uh, we, we lost our air superiority. That's okay. Kaboom. Okay. We have it back. Kaboom. Now, we only have one nuke left, right? So, I want to attack here, specifically. We want to take Berbera and completely cut them off here. And I'd love to nuke out over here. We lost our air superiority, though. That was a very temporary thing. Let's get all of these guys attacking Djibouti. We need to take this, if we can. And we took it. Djibouti is almost certainly going to be ours, and Berbera is falling as well. So all of these Germans over here are completely out of supplies. That's beautiful. Germany managed to decrypt our ciphers. Are we reinforcing this? We are. They managed to relink up. Which is very sad indeed. We have one nuke left. I'm going to drop it on Djibouti. We're letting our organization here regenerate a bit. And now we're attacking again. Berbera will fall. Again. I hope. And Djibouti is likely going to fall here. Berbera hasn't yet fallen. Man, they just pull the reinforcements in there so fast. Okay. Berbera fell again. That's huge. So all of these guys, they need to just chill for the moment. I'm going to delete this attack order. I'm going to select these guys and give them their own offensive line, like so. And then the overall offensive is going to be here. Except, I wanted these guys to remain here. Okay. Uh, sure, that's fine. So these guys have no supplies over here, is the thing. None at all. They have no way to get supplies. I want this tank to attack here, just to burn their supplies a bit. Okay. Let's look at the air war here. Um, oh, we lost this air base. I didn't realize we lost this air base. We lost territory up here, that's for sure. Interesting. Interesting. Well, we have all these guys pinned, and that's absolutely huge for us. They're going to all die. They're completely pinned here, and there's nothing they can do. So that's great. We're making our way in here. Cool. So we can see they have no supplies at all. We're just going to attack up over here, like so. And I'm going to have these guys actually attack here. Fantastic. We're going to stack wipe all of these Germans, and then we'll look to push back out over here. We lost a little bit of territory while we were doing this, but I think it's a worthwhile trade with the number of troops that they're going to be losing here. Cool. They're actually holding out for the moment. But that's fine. Again, they have no supplies. They will eventually lose. And this is going to be about 20 divisions stack wiped. So that's beautiful. Yeah, they're trying to retreat to each other's provinces. It's not going to go well. I want all of you guys attacking over here. And I want all of you guys attacking, including you. Cool. 
And now there's just this last location. Everybody over here. They're all stack wiped, almost. Fantastic, they're all gone. So all of these will now be reallocated over here. Beautiful. So we now have our united front here. Uh, hello. Did they naval land here? Well, they're going to lose this. I'm going to send this tank unit down. I'm not sure what happened here. I completely missed that, but sure. They have no supplies. It shouldn't be a problem. They have no way to get supplies either. So we're going to go down and deal with that. For the time being, we're kind of digging in across this line. Actually, we're attacking. So for the moment, it's okay. But these guys have no supplies and will all die. I do have this infantry division that will just pop into here for now. No problem there. And it is about time to put a cut in here. I do want to have this tank unit arrive down here and push these guys out. But for the time being, it is time to put a cut in here. So while we're waiting for this to come down here, we can definitely do the outro here. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes. Okay, we're losing this for now. In the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and... That tank unit got wiped. Well, I mean, it didn't have many tanks, I suppose. We're going to have this tank unit finish up soon. So we can just... Honestly, we can deploy it right now and send it on over. That'll be fine. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods, as I was saying, in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, JJ Gamer, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, Jens Graham, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.